Now, Channel 3 Early Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Bruce DePriest. Well, Michael became a major hurricane this afternoon and now has maximum sustained winds of 120 miles an hour. So it is a dangerous hurricane is gathering strength in the eastern Gulf of Mexico and is taking direct aim at the Florida Panhandle. 120 mile an hour winds and it's moving to the north at a fairly steady pace at 12 miles an hour. So on that track, it's going to be crossing the Florida Panhandle tomorrow afternoon. So right here, right where you see that white line crossing the three, that's the position at one o'clock tomorrow afternoon, still as a dangerous category three hurricane, probably between Pensacola and uh, Apalachicola, Florida is where it's going to be making landfall. Then from there, it's still gonna maintain strong tropical, tropical storm strength. And then by Friday afternoon, it's forecast to be to the south of New England. So we're not gonna get a direct hit here in New England, but we could get some fringe effects in the form of showers and also some winds, especially along the uh, southeast coast. And then as we go through the day Friday, the storm moves rapidly out to sea. So today we actually turn out to be pretty nice. It feels like summer out there today. You can see New Milford this afternoon where we had intervals of clouds and the sunshine. And we take a look at the uh, greater Hartford area right now. We have a mostly sunny sky for the time being. And we're also looking good in New Haven where we have at least partly sunny skies right now. As far as uh, early warning pinpoint Doppler goes, we are scanning the stage right. In fact, there's no rain in the forecast through tomorrow. Showers and periods of rain and a few thunderstorms are in the forecast for Thursday, however. And temperatures are in the 70s right now, along with the high humidity. At one point this afternoon, the temperature reached 80 degrees at Windsor Locks. For the 99th time this year, the temperature has reached 80 degrees or higher. And that ties the uh, uh, fourth place for the greatest number of times in a year the temperature has reached 80 degrees or higher. How about that? Tomorrow will likely be the 100th day. As far as dew points go, look at this. 60s, even 70 in New Haven, so the air is humid. We got that wind out of the south-southwest at 5 to 12 miles an hour. And it's that southwesterly flow that's ushering in that high humidity. And if anything, temperatures are warmer off to our south and west. So tomorrow will be even warmer than today by Oh, three, four, maybe even five degrees. So looking at the satellite radar combined, there's a lot going on. We have the threat of tornadoes across the Midwestern states. And of course, Michael is bearing down on the Florida panhandle. So let's take a look at future cast for us. Clouds return tonight along with areas of fog. Then tomorrow the clouds break up. Turns out to be a partly sunny, warm and very humid day. And then a few showers move into the state by Thursday morning. Then some heavier showers will arrive during the afternoon and evening, maybe even some rumbles of thunder. And then going into a Friday, well, it looks like we'll have some showers around in the morning Friday. But watch what happens as Michael slips out to sea to the south of New England. It could graze Cape Cod and the outer islands with some heavy rain, but it looks like for us, the bulk of that heavy rain is going to miss, at least with Michael anyway. All right, lows tonight, 60 to 65 with areas of fog and highs tomorrow. 80 to 85 away from the coast. Thursday, showers, maybe a thunderstorm, highs in the 70s and humid. And then Friday, there could be a couple of morning showers and partial clearing and breezy in the afternoon near 70, but we'll drop to 40 Friday night. Saturday, upper 50s with partly to mostly sunny skies. A beautiful day for the Hartford Marathon, although it's going to be a bit on the cool side. 30s Saturday night with scattered frost, and Sunday looks partly sunny and 62. It looks like there might be a period of rain early next week for the shoreline tomorrow. A very warm day with a high of 80.